perspective to look at the patient is the individual perspective. But there may also be some social perspective on it because there may be overwhelming environmental factors that have influence on the adaptation process of the patient. And this uh, dysfunctional behavior of non-adaptation may have, on the other hand, an impact on the brain by um, brain plasticity and have an impact on brain circuits and also on epigenetic regulation of the genetic information of neurons. And therefore, I think it's not only important to look at how the genes influence the brain and the behavior, but also how the behavior uh, influences the brain and the genes, on the other hand. And uh, this is my biggest point. Uh, the other is uh, that um, we underestimate um, the circuits within the family. So. Uh, what we underestimate is uh, the contextual um, uh, form of the symptoms and the contextual way symptoms can be interpreted. Uh, so symptoms are not merely um, uh, the, uh, the result of a brain dysfunction on one hand, but they are also adaptive to the situation of the patient and therefore uh, sometimes um, symptoms do not vanish because they have a situational um, meaning and, and it is important to look at these situational contexts and to look at the uh, parent-child interaction uh, because we often uh, see that if we change these aspects of parent-child interaction uh, symptoms may be relieved on the other hand. So we do not have to focus always on the child and its brain, but also on the situation in which the child um, exhibits its symptoms. In the parent-child relationship, uh, the basic problem is uh, neglect and the dysfunctional uh, distortion of uh, the emotional dialogue. Uh, this is one of the most important factors and in several studies uh, Michael Case of uh, our team and Romuald Brunner uh, of our team have done uh, can show that uh, all different traumata are based on this uh, neglect and, and emotional um, um, neglect of the child. So uh, it is very important um, to um, help mothers to be more sensitive to their children and, uh, and to um, increase emotional availability of the parents for their children. It is an important thing of um, helping the child with their own emotional regulation. It is um, effective attunement, it is social referencing to give meanings to things that may be dangerous to uh, help the child to reduce uh, bad emotions and to reduce stress on the other hand. And therefore parenting may help uh, the child to face um, dysfunctional stress situations and me ameliorate them and help them to mediate stress to a, a, a better form of adaptive uh, stress functions. Some may say that uh, child psychiatrists should not take place in the political world, but on the other hand, we need to um, bring our uh, ideas and to bring uh, the problems that we see um, into uh, the consciousness of the politicians. So I think it would be important for child psychiatry to place itself within society and also uh, to give answers to some of the problems if they influence the microsystem of the family and of the emotional dialogue.